So as you all know from yesterday, I have attempted to live stream Dragon Elite, but there may or may not have been some internet connections during the live stream that caused it to end early. So uh, I figured that today I'm going to give myself another chance and show you guys how I'm going to beat Dragon. So for this boss, we're going to start with our free Dark Monkey, and as for our hero, it's Benjamin. So uh, we're going to turn on auto start, and we're going to save up for Benjamin. Now up next, we're going to plop down an engineer right here. And yeah, it might seem counterintuitive to add a defense right now, but um, trust me, uh, you'll come in handy very, very much later. For now, uh, now that we've plopped down our engineer, we're going to save up for a farm. We're going to get a 2 0, -zero farm. Now I've gotten myself another 2 0, -zero farm, and in the meantime, uh, you want to go ahead and get the bottom path NG up to a pin uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get another 2 zero, zero farm because why not now we have four 2 zero, zero farms and we're going to upgrade our defense to a double gunner and in the meantime we're also going to grab a farm oh, sorry we're going to grab a village not a farm and for this farm we're going to go ahead and get a bottom half monkey commerce following that we're going to place a farm nearby and then Guess what? It's an R2 Zuzu farm, and just like the normal uh, video yesterday, we are going to leak that balloon. Now, for round 26, we're getting an alchemist, and uh, it's not the best, but uh, the reason why is because we are we want to get lead to gold. Lead to gold will help us uh, get a lot of money from the lead balloons later on. Now, in the meantime, we're going to purchase as many marketplaces as we can uh, from our uh, two Zuzu farms. Okay, so now we got three marketplaces and we need to start thinking about how we want to deal with camel detection. So in this case, since we already have a dark monkey, we might as well go for crossbow and turn on camel prioritization. We don't need to get the middle path quick shots. As for our farms, we are going to get bigger radius on our village and we are going to go ahead and get more marketplaces. Now we're going to save up for a blue trap, so let's grab the blue trap and uh, we're also going to get larger service area so that we can place our balloon trap right here and in the meantime we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves rubber to go so that we can get even more money out of this now since we can uh, i'm going to go ahead and grab one more marketplace uh, especially since you know we have the time to do so and uh, yeah for now we're going to save up for our tier one defense so for tier one defense we got a 104 sticky bomb and what we're going to do is we're going to let the farms run as long as possible and we're going to save up for attack zone. We're also going to get an embitterment at the same time. Now once this fella is done popping, we can go ahead and sell the ninja so that we can go ahead and sell uh sorry, sell our farms as well and we can grab ourselves the tag zone. And voila, now we our defenses is completely up and ready. Now as for camel balloons, uh for 142, we're going to grab another uh crossbow right over here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a bottom half farm. Oh, sorry, bottom half village. Why am I confusing these two? I have no idea. Okay, there we go. We're now done with round 45. And uh, for now, we're going to sell this and we're going to get a top half farm right here. And uh, I think we can actually sell the rest of our farms to get that as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And from here now, we're just going to grab as many top half farms as we can. Uh, we're also going to sell the ice by the way, we don't need it. From what, so we're going to get a sharpshooter uh, and set this fair to strong so that uh, we can deal with it. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about the mod spawn since, well, we have Benjamin to help us out. Now since 149 is filled with a lot of balloons, we can actually use this to our advantage and grab ourselves a second lead uh, rubber to gold. And uh, we can also grab ourselves a second engineer. There we go, so the traps will be placed over here and they will help us catch any balloons well when they come. Actually, we can place one trap in front right here and we can leave one trap right here uh, just in case uh, there's any so-called leaking balloons. Uh, for 151, we're going to grab another sharpshooter again uh, so that we can deal with the camel balloons. Okay, so for 156, uh, we're, going to get, uh, we're going to get our final BIF and then once that's done, we are going to grab a shimmer. Uh, followed by a wall of fire just so that we can deal with this massive amount of balloons just in case and we're going to stop farming uh, here so that so uh, let's save up as much uh, cash as we can so for round 60 we're going to start off with an avatar of wolf set to first and we're going to get an mib and we're also going to get jungle drum so that we can pop this ever so slightly faster and uh, we're going to get a tank zone next 
Now as for attack zone, uh, you want to place it here. The reason why we place it here is so that we can pop the rock balloons because the rock balloons are going to be your biggest problem for tier 2 at the very least. Once you got that, you can go ahead and outbuff your attack zone with stronger simulants and perishing potions. And we also want to get an ice monkey right here that's out of range of the uh, outbuff, so we're going to place one right here. And we are going to grab a top path and vitamins. And that's it, that's your defense for tier 2, it's relatively cheap and uh, it's doable. So for now, we're going to save up for a monkey of bliss. Now if you do happen to leak a rock balloon, uh, either A, it will come back here so you don't need to worry too much about it, or B, uh, if you're worried about it, just place another overdrive, although I don't think you need to. So anyway, now that we've gotten our farm, we are going to go ahead and, uh, sorry, once now that we've gotten our monkey of we are going to save up for a top path, uh, banana central. And you might also be wondering uh, what's going to be our tier 5 def uh, sorry, tier 3 defense. So uh, first, let's sell off these because we don't really need it. Uh, we're going to keep our alchemist here though. Uh, up next, we are going to grab ourselves a second, al our third alchemist right here. And same thing, it's going to be rubber to gold. We are going to get one overdrive right here, one recursive cluster, and another overdrive right here. Why? Uh, these two overdrives are meant to pop the mod class balloons. And uh, actually, we don't need a stronger similar anymore, so we can sell that. And as for camo detection, we are we can get a shimmer. It, it's gonna be fine. And then we want to retarget our blue trap to here and here. So there we go. So now all we have to do is just save up for banana central. Actually, before that, I was forgotten. Uh, boost your village by getting a monkey city. Uh, that way you can get more money out of your monkey opulence, which uh, I honestly completely forgotten about. So uh, my bad. Okay, now that we've gotten our, our uh, banana central, we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves an engineer so that we can overclock this fella. And now, uh, all that's left to do is spam the map with uh, 420 farms. Now once you've gotten yourself a number of uh, 420 farms, uh, now you're going to go ahead and get yourself a bottom half Monkey Wall Street right over here because you want to place it next to Banana Central and the Monkey Opulence. Just in case you forget to collect them, then well, at least it's collecting the two most important farms that you own. Okay, so now we are going to stop farming at round 77. Or actually, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves one more uh, 420 farm and then we're going to stop farming. For tier 3, we're going to sell almost everything that we have right here. And by almost everything, I mean everything because we are going to get a different defense. We are going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Sky Shredder set to figure infinite and we're also going to boost it with a village. So we have a 500 Sky Shredder plus a 230 MIB. But we're not done yet. Now it might seem strange but we are going to go with the Boomerang Paragon. Now why is that? Simple reason, it's cheaper than the Apex Plus One Master. So we're, again, we're not going to sell any of our farms. Uh, I've locked the map to the front. And all we need to do is just spam the abilities and uh, focus on collecting money from our farms and also uh, prepare for our, for our uh, Glaive Dominance, that's about it. And yes, this start is going to be extremely slow, uh, but the reward will be worth it, so uh, you, do have to be, you, do, you do have to practice a little bit of patience with this. Now, when you can afford the Glaive Dominance, don't get it yet. Why? Because if you get it, you're going to pop the mod class rules a lot faster. So what you can do instead is spend your money on farming first. That way, uh, you don't need to uh, let your money go down the drain while you know you're waiting for this thing to finish. Okay, now once it's popped, you can go ahead and get the glaive dominance right here, and you don't really have to worry about uh, anything else. Uh, it is going to be a bit slow, yes, but uh, honestly, you don't really need uh, all these defenses. You can sell you can sell the other, your other defenses. And then focus completely on your farming. And just like that, we have maxed out on our farming. So now we can put our focus on other things like uh, maxing out our Paragon. So the first thing we're going to do is start off with the Ace. Uh, we're going to get a Flying Fortress. That's going to be our main defense. Uh, we also don't need the Glaive Dominance. I mean, it's a degree one anyway, so it's not going to be that useful. So uh, I'm going to set our Flying Fortress to figure infinite. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and grab uh, ourselves uh, MIB and a uh, jungle drums for our ace and uh, that's it. Uh, now we can focus on getting the other paragons. Now first off, let's go ahead and get ourselves an ultra boost so that we can ultra boost our farm. Uh, I mean the banana central but uh, you guys know what I mean. 
Now, our first Pelgon we're going to get is going to be the Ninja Pelgon, and it's going to be placed right here in the middle. So, let's go ahead and grab that. Now, to max out your Pelgon degree, we are going to grab ourselves a bunch of 024 uh, ninjas. You need at least 17 of them. And uh, with that, we should be able to afford this and the shadow right now. So, let's grab it. And we have a degree 27. Now, we're going to set it to strong uh, so that we can. Uh, focus on Dread Bloon and the Walk Bloons just in case. Up next we're going to get our Max out Apex Plus our Master and it's going to be located right here. So uh, let's go ahead and grab the other Dark Monkeys and don't forget uh, to place down your second Crossbow Master because uh, that will help uh, your Paragon Degrees a lot. Now it's round 99 and we happen to have enough money to get the Apex Plus our Master so we're going to go ahead and grab that and we get a Degree 38 which is not bad so uh, let's deal with this boss, and it's going to be a relatively quick one compared to the previous uh, times we attempted this. So, let's go ahead and boost this, and uh, let's go ahead and get ready for the next Paragon. Since our Ace Paragon is going to be last, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the Engineer Paragon next. And, just nice, we can fit our Engineer Paragon right here. And voila, we have defeated Dreadbloon Elite Tier 4, so all that's left is just a few more tiers and then we are done. And now that we filled the map excessively with overclocks, um, we should be able to get a uh, max out uh, master builder. So let's grab it and we have a degree 30 which is not too bad by itself. So uh, we're going to set uh, that to strong as well. And the ace paragon will be the last paragon we are going to get. So we're going to let it do as many pops as it can uh, before that. And uh, to help in its uh, popping accomplishment, we are going to get a spy, uh, sky shredder as well, set to figure infinite. And uh, well, we'll just let this run. Uh, we'll just let this run and uh, do what, and we'll continue farming in the meantime. Also, to assist with your farming, you can also grab a Palma Bull right here. I mean, we have we have filled the uh, entire map with farms, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, now we are almost at around 120, so we have 1.6 million dollars in the coffers. But let's see what happens if we sell all of our farms. 2.7 million. So first things first, we are going to max out our Ace Paragon. So. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and let's see what happens when we get the Goliath Doomship. We have a degree, 52, which is, um, honestly it could be better, but it's not the worst either. So now we can set our targeting like this, and uh, I don't want to get a Venture Temple for this one. So let's just get a lot of support towers instead. Most important support towers are your glue storm so that uh, it deals plus 3 damage to bird class balloons, cripple boab also plus 3 and super brittle also plus 3. I might have these num numbers wrong but essentially they all deal additional damage to bird class balloons which is very important. Okay so these are all the defenses I got so without further ado let's just start with it and this is extremely messy oh my god so uh, we need to uh, focus on sort of microing our ace ability, so uh, let's do that and also uh, use as many abilities as we can. I will say though, it's uh, relative, it's popping relatively quickly and uh, keep in mind, uh, this thing is slow because, uh, well, it has a lot of health. Uh, but yeah, I'll sell that is popping relatively quickly and uh, well, I can't really do anything right now in terms of ability since uh, it's immune to military, but uh, yeah. I think it's a pretty good defense overall for an elite uh, game, you know. Let's see how much damage the Goliath Doom Ship's ability does to this set of mixed shell. Uh, quite a lot, but not enough. So, uh, good? I think, I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, not to mention I completely forgotten to put down the uh, Master Builders drones, whatever you call them. So, uh, yeah, I could have dealt a little bit more DPS, but um, overall, it's okay. Uh, Wow, can't submit to leaderboard even though I have internet connection. Uh, outstanding. But uh, yeah, at least you've beaten it. You guys saw it. So uh, let's check the leaderboards right now. Okay, so I've refreshed my internet connection. So uh, hopefully I can see the leaderboard right now. Uh, 149. The fastest is 4 minutes and 5 seconds, which is pretty... Okay, never mind. I think this guy's a hacker. I'm not entirely sure. Is see a hacker or is he just really smarter than the rest of us? Cause the second place guy got 9 minutes and 23 seconds, which is um, 
you know what, pretty impressive overall. But yeah, overall this boss is not too hard. It just requires a bit of uh, thinking since you know you can't just rely on one tower for your early game. And most importantly, the first two tiers are usually the biggest problems, especially for this boss. So uh, let's suddenly take a for future boss ones involving Dread Balloon. Uh, overall, it's a really fun concept. I absolutely love it. Uh, it wrecked my brain a lot trying to come up with the, with the strategy for beating Elite because I always had problems defeating tier 2. But uh, at least I got it now. Um, could have gone a lot better, but uh, could have gone a lot worse as well. So uh, I'll take it. So yeah, I'm glad with the results. So I hope that you guys uh, learned something from this video. So yeah. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you like this video, leave a comment if you have anything else to add, and I'll see you guys in the next video.